welcome back for another car wash review. Uh, today I am in uh, pretty much say Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, technically, um, if you uh, Google the address and that, they uh, classify it as Hannon, uh, Ontario, but it's just a part of Hamilton. And uh, it's uh, up on the mountain in Hamilton here. And it's a community that's growing like crazy, a lot of housing development and stuff like that. The exact address is 1816 Rymel Road East, and uh, yeah, I just call it Hamilton. But uh, I'm at an SO station here, and this is a, a pretty new build. Everything here, there's actually a little plaza here beside it that's got a sub shop, a little diner, and pizzeria and stuff like that. And they're still laying some of the brickwork and that on it. So this whole uh, spot here is all new. So they got a new SO station. They have a soft cloth car wash. So I thought that was kind of kind of neat to see. Get away from the uh, Ryko radiuses that we're used to seeing at the uh, SO stations. So it's been uh, got to be close to two weeks now since I've done a car wash. So my vehicle is fairly dirty, even though the weather's been pretty nice. But uh, we've had a couple of days of rain during then and that. So we've got some. Uh, dirt on it and uh, you can see there's some kind of some bird droppings in that there that you'll see more on the outside so I already uh, got gas and purchased the car wash and the uh, wash is uh, 1099 with a gas purchase so that's actually pretty good for an SO station usually they're uh, more than that so price is good and uh, so we'll go out and have a look without the uh, without the uh, gas purchase I think it's closer to around $13 so hopefully the camera picks it up but the vehicles uh, fairly dirty anyways you should be able to see a lot of the dirt all along the sides it's more just so the bottom half there's not much on the, along the top the back is quite dirty indeed hopefully you can uh, you can see all that. <clears throat> and you can see the uh, bird dropping there on the window. Yeah, this side's pretty much this, just as dirty as the uh, the other side. Just the sun's reflecting on it. A few bugs on the front. Oh, it's a warm one out there today. Oh. Definitely a good day to get a car wash. And they give you the, uh, the uh, paper with the wash coat on it. Uh, car wash is right there, but the entrance is so we gotta go around the whole gas station. Welcome to Trinity Esso Car Wash. Please place your vehicle in neutral and enter your five-digit code. The code number has been accepted. Please place your vehicle in neutral. Do not touch the brakes or steering. And don't forget to roll up your window.
obviously going to stop and we'll get out and have a look to see how it did. I'm a little skeptical. And the only reason why I say I'm skeptical is because uh, I see a lot of the, uh, you should be able to hopefully see that on the windshield, some of the bugs in that. There's another one right there. You can see it didn't, uh, didn't get it off. I can still see some of that, uh, the bird dropping that on there. So hopefully it got all the dirt. Maybe those were just uh, caked on a little too long and couldn't get it off, but we'll see the rest how it did. Left a little bit of soap in that on this side for whatever reason. Yeah, I think the it's just been caked on too long. Well, it appeared to get rid of all the dirt and everything. I did a good job cleaning that, just uh, with some of the bugs and the uh, bird droppings and that it uh, didn't get. But like I said, it's been about uh, very close to two weeks since I've had a car wash. And uh, so the bugs and everything and stuff like that has been on. It's been on the car for a while. It's been very hot, uh, especially the last week and that. So the sun's been baking that on there. So yeah, I just, I thought... At least the windshield. I thought some of the bugs in that would have came off, but uh, uh, whatever. It didn't. There, there, and then that big one there. I thought that would have come off, but uh, but other than that, it did a pretty good job. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I am the worst at uh, informing people the names of these systems. And I, I just find it weird. If I was a manufacturer of anything. Uh, I would definitely have my name on the product and uh, when I go through these, especially when it's a brand new system and I don't see manufacturers names and stuff like that on it, uh, I just, I don't know, I find that <laughs> very, very strange. That's uh, free advertising, but uh, anyways, if you uh, know the name of this system, be sure to uh, let everybody know in the comments below, see what kind of answers we get, see if everybody's on the agrees on the same uh, same name but uh, as always i thank you for watching appreciate all the support uh, like and subscribe if you haven't and uh, love your comments and feedback i tend to uh, reply back to to just about everybody that uh, that comments so thank you for thank you for that and i look forward to seeing you on the next one take care everyone bye bye